Hi everyone, this is another look from Michelle L. This is just a basic look from a TJ Maxx palette that I purchased from Beauty and the Word. It's the Natural Eyeshadow Palette by Style Essentials. Okay, I've already primed my eyelids. So let me show you what the palette looks like. I'm going to go in first with the darkest color. And let's see. You know what? I'm going to actually try this and dark color here. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm just using my um, Elf Eye Crease brush that I just picked up at the Dollar Tree. We'll just blend that in. Put this out of corner. Ooh, that has a very nice amount of warmth to it. I'm just kind of creating that, that vision. Okay. One, two, three, four. To the other side. It's very nice and warm. It's good, goodly pigmented color. And just a little bit more for the corner there. And now, let's go in with the mid-tone color. I think the mid-tone color that we are going to use today is going to be, let's actually do this one right here. It's like a warm red. One, two, three. Tap it off. And we will use that on the top to blend that out a little. Okay, now that looks pretty good to me. So let's go with that color again, do the other side, one, two, three. Just using a little small circles. And then we're going to go in with the lightest color we have here, which is this lovely light, light pink. I'm just going to blend that from there to there. And the other side. All right, that looks good. Now we need to decide what color we're going to put on the lid here with our packer brush. I think it might be really nice to put Let's try this lightest yellow here. One, two, three. And we're just going to pop that on the lid. See how pigmented it is? It's not too bad. Let's dip in again. And the other side. And the barking is courtesy of Max. One, two, three. Blend that in. Place it on the lid. Oh, I think that looks really nice. Okay, now we're going to get the darkest color and we're going to rub that into the eyelash line. And the darkest color here looks to be this deep brown. Let's tap down. And let's get that on the lid. On the, not the lid, the rub it into the eyelashes. And then just try to Flick it up slightly at the end. Okay, let's go to the other eye. Down and up. And don't forget to try to flick it up so slightly at the end. Yeah. Right, that looks good. All right. Now we're going to do concealer. So the concealer I'm just using is Elf Camo in medium peach. Just one little drop on each side. I'm going to blend that in with the um, the Echo Tools 360. I'm just going to blend that in. Let's all blend it in. 
and try to keep your mouth shut so you don't catch flies. Okay. Now the other side. And the nose, forehead, upper lip, and chin. And if you feel like there's any parts that need more blending, just gently pat your finger along there. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we're going to set it, and then we'll put a color underneath our eye. So I'm just using a pretty vodka. I'm just going to set that under eye real quick. I think I'm going to need all of this product. There we go. Just using a soft motor brush. Just set that under the eye. The other side. Just do a little bit on the chin and the forehead and a little bit on the nose. Okay. Now we're going to set, now we already set the under eye. We're going to put a color underneath the eye now. And we're just going to use this, um, eye crease brush that we used at the start. And let's see, the color that we're going to go in with is going to be, let's try something different. Let's see, how about we try, let's try this lovely orange here. Tap it in, it's plenty of pigment. Let's get that under the eye. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Okay, just that one little tap. That's all we need. Oh, that's extremely pigmented. And just bring it up with the under eye color. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay. Now, Let's do some mascara quickly, and then we'll do the review. We're not going to bother with curling the lashes today, even though I normally do that. I want to make this a short but sweet video. Okay. Start at the bottom, and we'll go it up. Try to close your eye, but gently, ever so gently, because you don't want to smudge it. This is really kind of smudging mascara. Just using it up. So I can try something new. Right. That looks good. Bottom lash just gently press just a second. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. So we've got to dip it back in and then take it out again and do the other side. Wiggle it back and forth, ever so gently. Okay. Okay, let's call it good. And we're going to swatch out the colors now. Just have to tidy up a little bit first. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Just put everything away that we need to. Well, we need to do a highlight in the corner of the eye real quick. And then we will do the next step. I'm just using the Milani strobe light. I'm just going to put that on the, well actually, let's see if in the palette it has a nice color that we could use for our inner corner highlight. Let's do that first. Take a look and see. Let's try, let's try this yellow, see what that does. Put right above the eyebrow, I mean below the eyebrow. The other side. That's fairly decent. It's not very glowy, but it does lighten the area. 
So actually, we're going to go ahead and go in with the Milani. And it's just this drop light. We're just going to pop that in the inner corners. Right. Put that. And when I put on my highlight, I like to go from this right there straight up. I think that gives a, a good highlight and it seems to lift my eye. And this one I just kind of press it in. I'll do some here. And we'll do some over here. All right, we've got all the highlight on. Looks good. Now we can finally do a review of the palette. I can tell you what I think of it. And then we'll give it a score. So we're going to start with the first row. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. those colors on. And we're just going to take a wipe. Wipe my fingers off so I can do the other ones. Okay. Now we'll start that middle row in the middle. <laughs> exactly. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to go ahead and do the thumb. One, two, three. Okay. Two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. Okay. Let's wipe the fingers off. You can tell there's a lot of pigment on them. Now let's talk about these colors and how they perform. Okay. Now the first three colors is a nice yellow cream right here. And then we have a very light pink. And then we have a very light, um, light goldy brown. And then the next, oh no, this one is a, is that, it's an orangey brown. And then the next row, we have like a golden shell color. And then we have that, that warm red, hot pink red. We have the deeper orange, almost, almost like a rusty color. And then on that last row, we have a goldy orange. And then we have a matte hot pink. And it does have some tones of red in there also. And then the last color is a very deep, a very deep brown. I think this is a very great neutral palette. The colors do apply really easily. You don't have to work with them too much, as you saw. Um, I pretty much just used these, these three colors here, and then I highlighted with this color here, and and this color it was the color we pushed into our eyelashes. So it's a great all-around neutral palette. You've got some shimmer tones and you have some nice mattes. So I think if you're just starting out in makeup, this would be a perfect palette to have. I'm going to give this palette a five because you've got some warm tones and some tones that are a little bit cooler. And it's very easy to work with. And all the shades work well. There isn't very many that you have to really work up unless you're looking for that deeper, deeper tone. So let me show you the, pa the palette one more time and the colors. So you can see how they are. And I will try to move my hand so that you can see how some of them shine. 
And that's my review. I would give it a good solid five. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Natural Eyeshadow Palette by Style Essentials that I got from Beauty and the Word. And if you want to go check her out, you can. I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, please be kind. Thank you.